Weed has a lot of controversy around it, especially when it comes to muscle building. Some people believe that smoking weed has zero impact on gym progress and even leads to better results, while others argue it significantly affects your gains. Today, we'll dive into both camps and most importantly use science to uncover how weed influences muscle growth. One study highlighted by Medical Daily indicates that cannabis can boost muscle growth by enhancing testosterone levels, which could potentially lead to better muscle recovery and growth. However, it's important to note that these effects can vary widely based on individual responses and usage patterns. Another study published by Muscle Prodigy Fitness explored how THC, which is found in weed, affects growth hormone, GH production. This particular study found that while THC can initially hinder growth hormone release, regular users might not experience significant hormonal changes, suggesting that the body adapts over time. The study also noted that cannabis use could lead to increased appetite, known as the munch which might benefit those looking to bulk up, but could pose challenges for those trying to maintain a lean physique. THC and CBD, cannabidiol, both found in weed are fascinating compounds that interact with the CB1 and CB2 receptors in our endocannabinoid system. This system works like the body's backstage crew, quietly managing vital functions such as immune response, sleep, pain, and temperature regulation. Interestingly, these receptors also play roles in fat and muscle tissues, albeit in different ways. Now, let's talk about weed and athletic performance. Opinions are divided on whether marijuana gives athletes a boost. Some think it just makes you lazy, slows down reaction times, and leaves you feeling tired. But others claim that they have a better athletic performance under the influence of marijuana. A review in the Clinical Journal of Sports Medicine found mixed results regarding cannabis and athletic performance. While some athletes reported improved focus and relaxation, others experienced impaired reaction times and coordination, which are critical for exercise and sports performance. This suggests that the impact of cannabis might vary widely among individuals. There is not a lot of science backing up these claims. However, many pro sports leagues have banned cannabis and labeled it as a performance-enhancing drug. While weed might not turn you into a lifting machine or supersize your muscles overnight, it does have its perks. It's been shown to ease muscle spasms, reduce inflammation and pain, and help you drift off into a peaceful slumber. All of these benefits can speed up muscle recovery after a tough workout, which means you can hit the gym again sooner and keep making gains. Inflammation is a natural process. When we exercise, we create tiny tears in our muscles. As our bodies repair these tears, our muscles grow stronger. The quicker your muscle cells repair themselves, the faster you'll build muscle. It's important to note that this repair happens during rest, not during the workout itself. This is why proper rest is just as crucial as frequent muscle building exercise. During this repair process, muscle cells break down and produce waste products, which are then eliminated by our body's inflammatory response. Inflammation boosts blood flow to the damaged areas, giving muscles the oxygen and energy they require to repair themselves. While inflammation offers benefits, it is also responsible for the pain sensations known as DOMS, or delayed onset muscle soreness after intense exercise. CBD present in cannabis products has anti-inflammatory qualities, making it suitable for relieving exercise-related pain and overall muscle recovery. Now, don't go rolling up a joint like Snoop Dogg just yet. Like most things, moderation is key. The more you smoke, the more strain it can put on your ticker, which isn't ideal when you're trying to improve your fitness. So, does getting high really help in the gym? Opinions are divided. Some swear by it, while others say it's a no-go. But if you ask me, I lean towards a firm no. The impact of marijuana on your workout depends heavily on your health, fitness level, and exercise goals. Even in healthy individuals, Using marijuana can lead to increased blood pressure during intense workouts, causing dizziness and potential falls. But that's not all. There are other serious health risks to consider when combining exercise with marijuana. For instance, its euphoric and sedative effects can be not just counterproductive, but downright dangerous during a workout. We all know it stimulates appetite, which can lead to excessive caloric intake and weight gain. You could burn hundreds of calories during an extremely difficult high-intensity workout, but then counteract that calorie burn by eating a significant amount of fast food in response to a huge hunger feeling. What we eat plays a significant role in our appearance and our overall well-being, especially when it comes to muscle building. If you're bulking up, cannabis might stimulate your appetite, which will help in your weight gain journey. But if you're cutting and aiming for a caloric deficit, weed can significantly complicate matters. 
Cannabis also has a dramatic effect on motor skills. An individual under the influence of marijuana may notice alterations in visual perception, coordination, and reaction time, all of which can drastically impede his or her capacity to exercise. Even if an individual claims that he or she feels fine, exercising while under the influence can result in catastrophic damage, and it's not worth putting your liability insurance to the test. We all know how much insurance companies want to help you. Marijuana usage isn't just a concern for short-term effects like impaired memory. It can also have lasting impacts on cognitive function. Chronic use may lead to difficulties in memory, concentration, and decision-making contributing to the stoner stereotype. The brain's neurotransmitter systems can be disrupted by repeated exposure to cannabinoids, affecting how neurons communicate and leading to cognitive impairments. These effects can be especially pronounced in adolescents, whose brains are still developing. It's essential to recognize these risks and consider them when making decisions about marijuana use. While occasional use may not have significant consequences, prolonged and heavy use can result in profound cognitive deficits that persist even after cessation. Education and awareness about the potential cognitive impacts of marijuana are crucial, especially around young people who may be more vulnerable to its effects. By understanding the risks, individuals can make informed choices about marijuana use and prioritize their long-term cognitive health. In addition to the previously mentioned concerns, another potential adverse effect of marijuana usage is tachycardia, characterized by a rapid heartbeat. When combined with the naturally accelerated heart rate experienced during exercise, tachycardia can pose additional risks to cardiovascular health. The interaction between cannabis and physical activity may exacerbate the effects of tachycardia, potentially leading to discomfort, increased strain to the heart, and even cardiac complications in susceptible individuals. Thus, individuals who engage in both cannabis use and exercise should be mindful of these potential risks and consider monitoring their heart rate and overall cardiovascular health closely. While some studies suggest potential benefits of cannabis use, chronic and long-term smoking may pose significant health risks. Cannabis is banned or heavily restricted in many places, reflecting concerns about its negative effects. Physiologically, inhaling cannabis smoke exposes the body to cannabinoids and carcinogens, potentially damaging the respiratory system. Consistent use can impair cognitive function, especially in young people. There are also concerns about dependence and addiction. Overall, while occasional or controlled use may have benefits, chronic smoking of weed is associated with various health risks. The impact of weed on muscle building is indeed a mixed bag. While it can help with appetite and recovery, its acute use can impair workout performance and potentially affect hormonal balance. Additionally, regular use may lead to decreased motivation, making it harder to maintain a consistent workout routine. Over time, this lack of consistency can significantly hinder your progress and muscle growth. If you aim to optimize your muscle building efforts, it's crucial to consider these factors and make informed decisions based on your personal fitness goals and lifestyle. Balancing the potential benefits and drawbacks can help you achieve the best possible result for your body and overall health. If you want to learn more about the effects of creatine on your body, click on this next video.